this is uh, Jeremiah 23 from the top. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit you upon the evil and your doing, saith the Lord. So <clears throat> the Most High is coming direct, right? He's talking about you pastors. And on top of that, <clears throat> you scatter the Most High's sheep physically and spiritually, okay? Because physically, you make them take on a heathen or Gentile mindset, and they take on heathen ways and the customs, you know, adverse to the Torah and the scriptures. And through, through their punishment, the Most High scatters them throughout all nations. And then spiritually, because, you know, you're getting them to believe everything else but what the scriptures really say, the sound doctrine of the scriptures, all right? And this is uh, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30. Just a quick precept. Matthew 12 and 30. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Common, man. This is verse 3. I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them, just like how I brought out earlier, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will shut up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. And those are the true men of the Lord, who the Lord has revealed these, uh, this truth to. All right. Verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise up unto, like I will raise unto David a righteous branch. A king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And that righteous branch is uh, Yahushai. Let me go ahead and get the scripture. This is uh, Amos 9 and 11. Amos 9 and 11. Let me start from about verse 9. Flock you. I'm going to start from verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Just like how it says in Jeremiah 14, how the pastors say that, you know, the bad stuff won't come upon the children of Israel. All right? When they're lying on the Lord's name. Verse 10, in that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and will raise up his room and I will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the, and all of the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this. So when Yahushua comes back, you heathen are going to slavery, starting with you Edomites. Verse 6, in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name, Slaki, this is his name, whereby he be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries, whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. And this is just saying that, that they're going to uh, commend the Lord. For something new, and that's bringing in the lost sheep of the house of Israel again. All right, verse nine. My heart is, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I'm like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord and because of His word, slaki, because of the words of His holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, and they were committing a spiritual adultery. For because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. And their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore, their way shall be unto them as slippery ways. In the darkness they shall be driven on, and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. So we're going to bring judgment upon y'all, man. Verse 13, I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. Verse 14, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible things. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evildoers that none doeth return from his wickedness. 
they they are all of them unto me as Sodom and inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and break this down. Um, for the first part where he says he's seen the folly in the prophets of Samaria, they prophesied in Baal. This is talking about the northern kingdom, right? In the northern kingdom, a lot of a lot of y'all in the northern kingdom, y'all like to do Santeria and and all that other stuff like that, man. That witchcraft. All right, that goes into you prophesying in Baal. Okay, because when you look at Baal in the scriptures, it has to do with uh, witchcraft and like divination, and which is uh, folly, man. And it's an abomination to the Most High God. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the script. I'm going to go ahead and get the blue letter on the word Baal. All right, because the Northern Kingdom, they like to do a lot of that. Santeria. Baal. supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanites okay so it had to do with divinity man all right which is against the Most High God this is uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 10 I'm going to start off for uh, verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination to the unto the Lord, right, man? So y'all do an abomination to the Most High, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doeth drive them out from before thee. Okay, thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God, for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee to do so, right? So if y'all still messing with uh, Santeria, Voodoo, um horoscopes, mediums, necromancers, whatever, man, all right, witches, warlocks, which is basically the same thing, all that type of black magic and stuff like that, if it falls under the category of magic, all right, or something that you feel like you will be ashamed to bring up to your pastor, the Lord going Lord to destroy you, even though your pastor going to get destroyed too, because nine times out of ten, your pastors are false prophets, all right. But those pastors who are out there preaching the truth, y'all by Shem, y'all shy, brock them. Okay, moving on. Verse 14, I have also seen the prophets of Jerusalem, the horrible thing, they commit adultery and walk in lies. Right, man, in the, in the southern kingdom, y'all y'all go to church and stuff like that, and you guys are committing spiritual adultery because, you know, you guys worshiping this white Jesus, you know, who, who, who uh, that picture within itself gives you a, a form of white supremacy, okay? And, and and you guys do walk in lies, man. All right, because you guys believe in Christianity, okay? The modern day Christianity at that. That within itself is a lie. Verse fourteen. They strengthen also the hands of evil doers that none return from his wickedness. They are all unto me. They they are all of them unto me as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the inhabitants thereof, uh, Slaki, unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Right, and the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with uh, fire and brimstone. So this time he's going to destroy the new Sodom and Gomorrah with ICBM nuclear missiles, okay, which is America. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will send, Slaki, I will feed them with wormwood and will make them drink the water of gall. 
for the prophets of Jerusalem and his profane has gone forth into all the land. Thus said the Lord of hosts. So the Lord got a bitter judgment for y'all, man. Because when you look up the word uh, wormwood, it means bitter. Okay? Go ahead and look it up in the blue letter. And then you look at the word gall, it, it's even worse. All right? So that's Jeremiah 23 and 15. Look at the word wormwood. Matter of fact, I'm going to look up the word gall first. Because the Lord going to make y'all drink that. A poisonous plant, probably the poppies, flocky, gall, hemlock, poison, venom. Huh, man. Gall, venom, bitter, poisonous. So the Lord going to, Lord got you, man. All right. That's, that's the judgment that the Lord got set up for you false prophets, man. All right. All types of venom and bitter and poisonous, man. Mm -hmm. Well, from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane and gone forth into all the land. Verse 16, it is in all the land, man, because a lot of us who are in the truth, we used to believe in Christianity too at one point, or some type of form of it. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, that they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and out of the mouth of the Lord. Right? They, they say still unto them that despise me. So meaning you despise them because you don't keep the Lord's law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord hath said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto you, everyone that walketh after an imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Right? And that reminds me of a testimony of some brother I know. He's a Levite. You know what I'm saying? And he, he eats pork and stuff like that. And I was telling him not to eat pork. And then... He posted on a story one time on Snapchat how someone said to him that God has like a great plan for him and all this stuff like that, you know. But the, when I tried to tell the brother that he's not supposed to eat pork and stuff, he wanted to get mad at me and tell me to uh, get over it. And I'm reading the New Testament and and his pastor eats pork and stuff like that. So he's done for, man, unless he repents. But I don't think he's going to repent. But Lord willing, he does. Verse 18. Slocky, verse 17, they say still unto them that despise me, the Lord has said, you shall have peace. And I, they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Right? So that, that's exactly what a lot of these pastors be doing, man. You do whatever you want to do. Come to our church. You know what I'm saying? We don't care. We don't care. If you're gay, cool. We just want your money. That's how they feel, man. Verse 18, for who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? Right? The Lord's Lord, basically, like, mocking y'all, like, which one of you niggas came in my presence and, and, and can tell the people how I really feel, even though in my scriptures it tells you not to do that, all right? Verse 19, behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind, it shall, be, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Verse 20, the anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly right, man. So, in these last in these last times, y'all gonna see it, man. All right, y'all gonna know what the Lord meant when He said what He said. All right, and when the Lord speaks a thing, it does not come back to Him void. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this precept real quick. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. From my mouth it hath commanded, and His Spirit it hath gathered them. So, that's why you got to read the scriptures. Because your pastor could tell you one thing, but the Lord could be telling you another. That's why the scriptures say, let God be true and every man a liar. You know what I'm saying? Because man, man don't know shit. Unless God told him, man don't know shit. Straight up. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. So my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right, man. So if the Lord spoke it, it's going to happen, man. These prophecies got to be fulfilled. So you false prophets are done for, man. Verse 21. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Okay? But if they stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, they sh then they should have turned them from their evil way and from of their evil doings. Okay? 
So that's what the Lord's saying, what y'all should have been doing instead of prophesying lies. 